More fallout from the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. A jury has found four top members of the far-right group, the Proud Boys, including its former leader, guilty of seditious conspiracy. ABC's Faith Abubi is in Washington with the latest. High-ranking members of the far-right militia group, the Proud Boys, now staring down potentially decades in federal prison after a jury handed the Justice Department a major victory in its January 6th investigation. The evidence presented at trial detailed the extent of the violence at the Capitol on January 6th and the central role these defendants played in setting into motion the unlawful events of that day. Prosecutors using videos, text messages, and social media posts to show members of the right-wing extremist group, quote, saw themselves as Donald Trump's army, thirsting for violence and organizing for action. Proud Proud boys, boys, stand back and stand by. The DOJ proving that after former President Trump lost the 2020 presidential election to Joe Biden, Ethan Nordine, Joseph Biggs, Zachary Real, and former militia leader Enrico Tario were involved in a failed but violent plot to block the peaceful transfer of power. The jury finding all four guilty of multiple felonies, including seditious conspiracy. Department of Justice very rarely charges seditious conspiracy. It's a political crime, and I call it treason's cousin. Another Proud Boys member, Dominique Pozzola, seen here with a mob using a stolen police shield to break a window at the Capitol acquitted of the rare sedition charge, but found guilty on other felony charges, including obstructing a congressional proceeding and assaulting officers. And these guilty verdicts are the latest in the more than 600 and counting convictions in the DOJ's January 6th probe. A special counsel is also looking into former President Trump and his alleged role in the riot. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.